Welcome. In front of me is the Lenovo Tab M10 Plus and today I'll show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this tablet. As you can see, the one I have in front of me is locked. So we have the little lock right here and verify your account. And there is no way of setting it up without actually doing so. So, uh, to get into the actual bypass, uh, we will need to do a couple of things. Number one, you need to connect to Wi-Fi network, which when I back out, you can see I have already done this. There we go. So in your case, connect to your network. And once you've connected, you wanna back out to the start. Tap on the language selection and scroll all the way down and you'll find uh, basically uh, all the languages that use different keyboards. Now, I don't know majority of the names of these. I don't even know the alphabet's names, so uh, forgive me if I will butcher it, but I'm gonna just choose any kind of Cyrillic ones. You could quite possibly select any kind of language from the list from all the way from Greek, I believe. Uh, or even this one, I think this is Turkish. Uh, sorry if I'm incorrect. But yeah, basically I believe either this one or Greek uh, all the way down should work. There is chances that one of the uh, Cyrillic languages might give you glitch where it won't show up what we need to need it to show up. But if that is the case, you're just gonna back out here and change it to some other one. But anyway, just select any kind of language. So I'm just gonna tap at random. I even look what I selected, it doesn't matter. And what we will do now is go through the setup. Uh, you don't need to know the language that you selected, keep that in mind. I have no idea what I selected. I'm just pressing on the buttons I know will get me onto the next page. So this is setup offline, at least I think. Oh, there we go, it's thinking. And once it gets to the verification portion, again, so this is the verification, uh, you want to press on the keyboard right here. It will bring up a keyboard, though for some reason it's still in English. I usually, I believe usually, you should have it in the language that you selected, but in this case would have been Cyrillic. Uh, let's see. So it should look like this. Obviously you can tap on the globe and change it to English. From there, I'm going to hold this a little globe icon. This will bring up language options. So here we're going to select the but, uh, the text at the bottom. Uh, you want to then select, I believe this blue button, scroll down and then select any of the options that have an arrow. There are several, doesn't matter which one you choose. There we go. And in here, I think we're going to press on any one of these options and then the blue button. There we go. So we have added a new keyboard. Once that's done, just gonna back out again here, the language selection, and now we're gonna ch change back to our desired language. So okay, I'm gonna select English, and let's again go through the setup. Again, we're going to tap on a field and we're going to hold the globe icon once more, language settings. And we're going to now select add keyboard again. And you're going to now select any keyboard that does not have an arrow. So just choose the first one. Should work, right? Oh no, my bad. With an arrow. Yep, so we're looking one with an arrow. Then three dots help and feedback. And now once we're here, we need to type something. Let me just quickly look for what I need to type. Okay, so we're gonna search for delete or disable uh, and manage uh, unused apps on Android. Now you can just type in delete. As you can see, delete, disable and manage unused apps on Android selected. And then select Step one right here. So top to go to application settings. I 
Now in here we're gonna select Android Setup. And you wanna select Force Stop. Okay. Then go back and scroll down to, oops, I think I went a little bit too far, to Google Play Services. There we go. I'm gonna select here, just quickly check it out. Okay, disable, disable up, and then, whoa, uh, that sound was just uh, notification sound. It is the weirdest sound you'll probably hear. Don't worry, this is okay. Um, if you want, you could mute the sound to get rid of this because I believe we will hear it several more times. So, yeah. Now, once we have disabled this, uh, Google Play Services, let me just make sure we don't need to force stop it. It looks like we don't. So... Okay, so in theory that's all we need to do. So let's just check. So let's can go through it. Okay, so now we can just select skip, I guess. Skip anyway. Can I deselect all of them? Okay. Finish device setup. And there we go. So it's now, now completely uh, set up. Now there is one last thing that we need to do to finish up at the bypass, which is navigate into settings right here. No thanks. Scroll down to system, reset options, and then erase all data, factory reset, which I cannot do because my batteries uh, as you can see below 30 percent um, grab a cable I'm gonna just check if plugging it in will solve the problem this is going to be just plugged into a charger nope it does not help me so anyway so last step that I want to do stop it there we go. So last step that you wanted to do is basically perform a uh, factory reset of the device, which you do by clicking right here and then selecting erase all data somewhere here twice. This will begin a factory reset, which will take a couple minutes. And once it's finished, you should be taken back to the uh, setup screen of your, of your tablet. Uh, but at that point, the device will be fully unlocked. So when you're going through the setup, you can just choose whatever options you want. You won't need to do any kind of bypassing uh, like we did at the beginning. It's just going to be a typical, normal setup where you have choices, not not like requirements. But like I mentioned, I cannot show you this just because, well, the battery. So anyway, uh, that is the last thing that I want to do. It is a required part for the process to be completely finished. Once that's done, you're basically fully unlocked. So with this being said, this would be how you can bypass the Google verification on this tablet. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.